I'm Trader Oracle, and this is Trader Oracle Method, TO Method, version 2.0. As you can see, I added quite a bit. Let's go through it. Link in the description. You click it, and you go here. All you do have to do is add to your favorite indicators, reload at Trading View, and it will be up and ready to go. Under your favorites, you'll see Trader Oracle Method. So let's go ahead and add it, and you will see it is now 2.1. What did we add? We added a new candle styles. So you can go in here and go for vector candles, which was the old school candles that we had before. You can also um, use wave candles. So there we go with the wave candles. Now I added Wada explosion candles. So yeah. These look really cool. This is Wada Explosion. So when you have a Wada Explosion, and let's go W-A-E, you'll now have that with the Lazy Bear version of it. You'll now have that represented in your candlesticks. So basically when it's hot, it goes up. When it's not, it goes down. So you can kind of visually see kind of where you're at with all of this stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and turn off the cloud. By the way, you can do the cloud opacity now. Go down here under cloud opacity and you can change that. So if you want to make it more opaque, if you want to make it more invisible, you just alter that number and it will change the resistance cloud for you. Um, I also did, th this is a big update here. If the candle type is squeeze. So squeeze momentum relaxer. If you go into TTM squeeze and you grab the most popular one here, you'll notice that um, when when the squeeze is hot, then it gets brighter. When the squeeze is dim, it gets dimmer. But it will show you which way the squeeze is going. And when the squeeze is relaxed, as you can see here, then it becomes very dim. And it's super easy to see. So I, I hope you like that. I really like the squeeze version of that. It eliminates the need for a squeeze momentum relaxer. Let's do the other thing that we got. We got a new Lux Algo reversal signals which allows us to see the Lux Algo reversal which is a freebie on a trading view I went ahead and coded that up so you can see it's pretty good it goes up and it goes down I also added dead simple reversal now this is from trading view and a lot of you saw it on my trading view and you're like oh I want that so I went ahead and converted that to uh, sorry, well, trading, um, trade of eight. I went ahead and uh, converted that over. So now you can see the reversal signal here. We go up. You can see reversal signal here. We go down a couple of candles, down a couple of candles. Reversal here. We got a good reversal here. One here, one here. So that is brand new as well. And I also included something cool that I've never seen before, which is I hide the VWAP and the EMA 200 until it gets near you. Let's see how that works. How many ticks near the VWAP EMA before it appears? So let's go ahead and change that to 30 instead of 3,000. So I made that a little bit better. So now the VWAP and the EMA only appear when you get near it. So when you're coming down here and you're about to bounce off of it, now I bounce. Uh, now you can see it as you're bouncing, as you're about to bounce off of it. And then as you're coming off of it, it will appear. But if you're not near it, my theory is why bother having it on your screen? So during these times here, when we're nowhere near it, you can see it very, very lightly here. But yeah. I don't show it until you get next to it. So I thought that was a cool addition. Haven't seen anybody else do that. So I think that's my own invention, maybe. Uh, cloud opacity, we did that. Pivot point opacity. I changed that so you can make the pivot points not as annoying as they were before. So if you go to the pivot point here, you can barely see it. And if I change it, the pivot point opacity to uh, zero, that's 100%. So now you can see it becomes 100%. But then if you change it to, let's say, uh, let's make it a two width, and let's make it a 80% opacity. So that becomes very, very, uh, 
very, very light. We could change it to 50% opacity. And that's going to be a nice one right there. It's going to be a nice one indeed. All right. So there we go. So now you have your pivot points and you can adjust the opacity to them. Let's also show a new thing that I added, which was track bar gaps. In other words, this is a feature in Wave, in Tidal Wave. And it basically tracks any gaps between bars until they are filled. So if we go into replay and go here, for example, and we're going, uh, well, so you can see when we have a gap in a bar, a gap between bars, so this bar has a gap in between it, it will draw a dotted line indicating that we need to go fill those gaps, no pun intended. So when you go into replay and we will go down and take care of those gaps as they kind of go down there. So you can see we filled both of these gaps. Now we had two more gaps bouncing off of the EMA and we filled those gaps. So you can see it kind of works as a fill value gap fair value gap. Uh, it is a volume and balance, as many people have pointed out to me. But that's another thing that I love about that. So yeah, so if you like the cloud and you don't want it to be as annoying, I can do the cloud opacity to 90. So it's nice and uh, let's see, let's turn on what I usually have here. I got squeeze, vodka shot, and early reversal. And there we go. It does take a while for anything to appear, kind of getting on the maximum side of the uh, displays, the plots that I can do. So there it is. There's how it normally looks. And yeah, very, very cool. Also updated Nebula as well to have a squeeze. So if you update your version of Nebula from the cloud or from the trading view, you'll notice a couple of new Nebula things, which is uh, candle coloring. We can change it to squeeze or we can change it to MACD. So you have a candle coloring with a squeeze and a MACD. Um, so yeah, I'll leave it to default for the water. Also allow you to adjust the cloud opacity. So if you want it less opaque, you can change it. If you want it more opaque, you can change it. Some people were saying they it was barely visible. So now you can alter it and do what you'd like with it. Anyway, uh, yeah, but TO method and the Nebula has been updated. Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching.